Rahim, with the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings and mercy of Allah to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. The topic is what Al-Quran says about jihad. This word jihad is not translated into the languages of the people. It's an Arabic word, but people do not translate. Jihad means to strive or to struggle. But generally it has been promoted by the media as holy war the war. So I will like to give you the meaning of the war, English word, word war, in Arabic it means harab, harab. Harab means war. Jihad means to strive, to struggle. Irhab means terrorist, terrorism. And Qatl means to kill. Irhab means terrorism. Harab means war. Qatl means to kill. And the topic today is Jihad, which means to strive and struggle. So ladies and gentlemen, before we discuss the ayats, as to what Quran has said about jihad in the ayats of Allah, I would like to tell you that all of us, all of us, whether Muslims and non-Muslims, are doing jihad, meaning they are struggling, they are striving. But what, what are they striving for? they will explain to you. If you ask them, what is your mission in life? What is the most important factor in your life? Or what is your aim in life? If a student of any student of any theology wants to become something, he joins universities or schools he wants to become an architect or engineer or doctor. So he struggles for that. He strives for that. So in other words, he does jihad to become a doctor. Jihad, he struggles to become a doctor. That means he's doing jihad. He struggles or strives to become an engineer. Engineer, that is jihad. He, he does jihad to become an engineer. You must know the meaning. In Arabic people use these words, the Christians Arabic speaking people use this word jihad. The Jews Arabic speaking people use the word jihad in their language. It's an Arabic word. So it is not only related to the Muslim community the word jihad. The people who are striving for anything, they are doing jihad for that thing. Now, the, if the Muslim, most of the Muslims, well, all the majority of the Muslims must be doing something in their lives, meaning they must be having some aim in life or careers in life, and for that they are working. They are doing jihad for that. But that jihad is not as Quran or Allah says in the ayats. That is allowed. That's not, permit, not uh, forbidden for you not to do that. You can do that. But in the, so in the governing, by the governing ayats, you have to control and see, am I not doing wrong or right? So what Quran says or what Allah says to do jihad, that is our lecture. When we refer this word to Allah and the Islam, then we have to see how Allah says that you have to struggle for what? or you have to strive for what? So being a Muslim, 
Muslim means, is Muslim is an, an, again another Arabic word. Muslim means submitter. I submit to Allah. So I am Muslim to Allah, submitter to Allah. Muslim means submitter. So if I submit to what? So whatever I submit, I am a Muslim to that. Like jihad, I, if I do jihad to become a doctor, I am doing struggling or striving for doctor. Similarly, Muslim means to submit. A person who submits, if he submits to attain the good pleasures of Allah, so he is a Muslim submitter for Allah. For Allah. So he is a submitter Muslim for Allah. So in that concept, Allah has mentioned in the, in the, I will be reading the ayahs, that a person in this world should live in peace. And that word in Arabic is salam. And, and the word Islam is come from the root letter salama, which means to attain peace. I said salamu alaikum peace be unto you. Islam means to attain peace. So if all the people in the world would like to live in peace, but to live in peace, there are certain rules and regulations laid down by Allah in, in the ayahs that if you follow these ayahs, then you can attain Islam, you can have peace, you can attain peace, you can have Islam, you can attain peace. So first of all, you have to submit, meaning Muslim, Aslim. You have to become a Muslim or you have to become, you have to submit to what? To the governing ayats, to the muhkamat ayat, governing ayat, signs. First, I submit to the governing ayahs and what I will attain? Islam or to attain peace. I will have peace in my, in my mind. I will have peace. For that, if I work or I struggle or I strive to follow those governing ayahs, that is jihad in Allah or in the ayahs. This is how the lecture you have to understand. The purpose of every human being in the world is that he wants to live in peace. That is to attain Islam or attain peace is Islam. Every, every human being. And in the Quran it is mentioned on the day of Jaj after after we die there is an accountability day. We have to give our accounts and on that day we have to ha enter into garden. Jannah. So a Muslim keeps in his mind all the time that after I die, I must go and enter into Jannah or attain good pleasures of Allah. But to, to attain that, to achieve that, I have to do jihad. I have to do strive. I have to struggle. By the governing ayahs, or by the do's and the don'ts, as mentioned in the Quranic ayahs. There are certain rules you have to follow and obey, as Allah says in the ayahs. And there are certain don'ts, as He mentioned the ayahs, in the, His governing ayahs, or in His muhkamat ayahs. Why I'm doing it? I'm struggling and, and struggling and striving to attain Jannah, the garden, on the day of judgment. That is, I have to do, I have to struggle and strive, that I have to do jihad. But in this world, what I will get? I will get peace in the world. In this world, I will have peace of mind and heart. But on the other side, I will attain, uh, I, I will get good pleasures of Allah and the Jannah that is garden. So keep in, in, your, in our minds that we Muslims, do jihad. Every Muslim does jihad or strive because his object is to enter garden. 
that is his aim and goal on the day of judgment i must enter into garden i must be uh, god allah should be pleased be, by me, my actions my actions should be governed by the ayats not by my own vain desires they should be governed by the allah's ayats the muhkamat ayat the do's and the don'ts so this is how the lecture will go on so remember we i will recite the ayat about the word jihad to strive and struggle and we'll see how the quran explains but you must keep in your mind that there are certain do's and don'ts in the quran there are many many ayats that are referring for the do's and the don'ts but i have just to give you a sample or an example on the first page if you will note i will read certain these are not complete ayats just to explain to you what are the do's and what are the don'ts when i'm using the word do's there are certain things or actions we have to do and there are certain action, actions that we should forbid or we do not do for example in the page first page surah surah al-isra 17 surah and ayah 78 ayah the reference is that we have to establish the salah the prayer this is one do that we have to establish the salah mention this ayat this is a big ayat but i'm just pointing out the order that we have to establish the salah al baqara 2 and ayah 185 it mentions in that complete ayah that we have to fast that's a do order to fulfill al baqara 2 196 196 ayah to perform pilgrimage who have got the means so a person who got the means to visit to mecca saudi arabia for pilgrimage he has to do that in al mujadala 5812 to give sadaqa charity he ha- these are the do's i am reading those points which you have to understand these are the do's of the quranic ayas the governing ayas surah al hajj 22 ayah 78 you have to struggle strive for allah jihad in allah surah al nisa 4 3 you have to marry 1 2 3 4 whatever the requirement as per your situation this is on order by allah that you have to marry 1 or 2 or 3 whatever the condition but you have to marry this in order then al baqara 2 to 29 the order of divorce is given people say that allah does not like divorce no allah simply say that if i am not this not the lecture or topic of divorce a believer and non believer cannot live together a khabis and a tayyab a good and a bad cannot live together according to i allah's ayas allah divorces women from men or from men women if they are not one of the if one of the person is not believer he separates them very simply in the eyes of allah so that's an order that you divorce the wives if they are not practicing believing women so that's a separate topic but i'm just tra- telling you that it is an order of allah that you divorce your wives then al nisa 4 and ayah 11 there is a whole inheritance law is given that this is the amount of money that has to be distributed to among the among his uh, sons and children that that is also a do you have to make sure that they should be distributed according to the order or the governing ayahs of allah when you go from this world surah al isra 7 23 and 24 that the children should be good to the parents children parent relationship that the children should be good to their parents this is a commandment that we should follow al baqara 2 172 eat lawful food eat good and lawful food it is the whole description is mentioned the ayas what is a lawful food the anam the cattle so now if you look at the other side the don'ts are mentioned I, they are not only the do's there are many many do's in the governing ayahs of allah i am just trying to explain to or emphasize the point that there are do's and don'ts in the ayahs by which you you have to struggle and do jihad to achieve islam salam peace in this world and god on the other side and good pleasures of allah what is the don't surah nisa 4 and ayah 29 29 
do not eat wealth with falsehood do not eat your wealth by falsehood by cheating by forgery al hujurat 49 12 no suspicion is allowed in islam you cannot suspicion is not allowed at time suspicion or conject to conject is a sin no backbiting is allowed no backbiting in al hujurat 49 11 ayat sarcasm bad name no sarcasm to people no bad names to people no nicknames to be given al maida 5 and verse 38 ayat 38 no theft no robbery now these are the no you have to not to do that not to do this not to do this al maida al isra 17 and ayat 31 not to kill children due to poverty al isra 17 surah 33 ayat suicide not to kill himself you see the suicide bombing you cannot kill yourself this is this is don'ts of the ayahs of allah don'ts do not to do not to do don'ts you have to fulfill that al maida 5 93 no drugs no drinkings no gambling al maida 5 3 not to eat the poor there are unlawful food mentioned not to drink blood not to eat the pork not to eat the food which other than name of allah is been taken al nur 24 surah verse 19 pornography faisha exposed or hidden not allowed surah al araf 7 ayah 33 no adultery no homosexuality no lesbianism etc so there are many don'ts and there are many do's we muslims we have to do jihad we have to strive and struggle in following the do's not only this i have given you these as examples you have to make sure that i practice these which are mentioned that i have to do and i have to forbid from the ones that are don'ts i forbid myself from those which are mentioned that i do not have to do that that when i will do this that is the struggle that is the strive that i am doing to achieve what peace in this world peace in this world and on the day of judgment that allah is pleased with me and get the garden that is the aim of a muslim submitter to allah so now we will see what are those ayas in the quran that describes the word jihad the first uh first page referring to ali imran ali imran 3 and aya 19 inna ad-dina 'inda allah al-islam wa ma ikhtalafa alladhina utu al-kitab illa min ba'di ma jaa'ahum al-'ilm baghyan bainahum wa man yakfur bi ayati allah fa inna allah as-sari'u al-hisab surely ad-din the judgment in the nearness of allah is al al islam to attain peace and those who are given al kitab the book did not differ except to wrong each other after the knowledge came to them and whosoever rejects with ayat signs of allah then surely allah is quick in taking the account in this aya the first phrase in the dina in the lail islam surely the judgment in the nearness of allah is al islam to attain peace so allah has laid down the principle or the foundation or the judgment he has given his judgment and his judgment is that people should attain peace in this life and that is islam inna dina inda allah islam surely the judgment in the nearness of allah is islam to attain peace so all the ayas in the quranic ayas 
are judgments by Allah. That Allah has laid down the judgments and the ayahs that you can judge and analyze. And the conclusion you will come to know that this is right and good for mankind. Any do's or command governing ayahs. It is good for mankind. And whatever is mentioned not to do is good for mankind. These are the judgments laid down in the ayahs and what we, if you will practice them, you will attain peace, Islam. And those who are given the book did not differ except to wrong each other after the knowledge came to them. Now you will see this kind of behavior in the world that there are you see the Quran is being sent down as a guidance for mankind. A person can take guidance for mankind. But normally people are hungry for knowledge. For knowledge, not guiding themselves. They say so, but they, are, they, they really don't mean it. But what happens when they get the knowledge? Whenever they get the knowledge, they don't guide their lives. They just point fingers at others. So they did not differ among themselves. After the knowledge came to them, they did not differ in the book, sorry. They did not differ in the book, that the book is right. But they start saying that you are wrong, you are wrong. So remember, people, you see a person who does not have any knowledge of anything, he cannot speak. But once the knowledge is given, imparted with him or given to him, the Quran expects you to guide yourself, not to point others that they are wrong. This is going on. Every, that is why you see so many schools of thoughts that people are trying to say that no, that you, you, you don't get the, the correct understanding of the Quran. I have got the correct understanding or the Hadith and the Sunnah and the practice that you are wrong. These guys is wrong. That is the other guy. So they are pointing fingers to each other. After the knowledge came to them, they are not governing their lives. The struggler or the person who is doing jihad is trying to control his own soul, his own self.